In this lesson, we are going to enable the remote desktop connection. The remote desktop connection allows the system administrator to remotely connect to the Windows server through the network, even if the server is located several miles from the administrator desktop. Remote desktop connection is a handy tool that you will often use in your daily system administration tasks. Remote desktop connection is not enabled by default on Windows Server machines. To enable it on the Server Manager, click on Local Server. Next to the remote desktop, click on the hyperlink that says Disabled. You can see that the Don't allow remote connection to this computer option is the default selection. So select Allow remote connection to this computer. A warning box displays and says that remote desktop firewall exception will be enabled. And it warns you that you have chosen to enable remote desktop connection for all network connections on this computer. To enable it for selected network connections, open Windows firewall with advanced settings. It means that even networks outside your organization are allowed to connect to this server remotely. For security reasons, it's recommended to restrict the remote access to specific networks you control, and you do that using the server firewall. Click OK. This option is an interesting one. Allow connections only from computers running a remote desktop with network level authentication. It allows only computers already authenticated on the network to connect remotely to this server. So if you want to enable remote access to this server from the internet, you should disable this option. The next step is to select the users allowed to access this server remotely. You can read that the users listed below can connect to this computer and any members of the administrators group can connect even if they are not listed. And the administrator user already has access, so you don't have to add it to this list. If you want to add users that are not in the administrator group, click on the add button and select them. Before we can add users to this list, we need first to create them. So let's do that. Right click on the Start button. Then click on Computer Management. Select Local Users and Groups. Open the Users folder. Right click and select New User. Let's choose funny names for our users. The first one is Superman with superpowers. I will keep blank the full name and the description fields. It's just for the sake of demonstration. And check the option user must change password at next logon. Then type the password twice. When done, click on the create button. OK. Now let's create our second user and it will be Batman. This reminds me of the movie Batman vs Superman. Yes, the two users are now created. For Superman and because it has superpowers, we will add it to the administrator group. Click Apply. OK. We all know that Batman is a hero without superpowers, but Batman has super gadgets. So we will keep it in the users group. Yes. I need to apply the changes I made in this dialog box before going further. OK. Now let's do a test. We will open a remote connection using the Superman user. Then we will do the same test using the Batman user. I excite the full screen mode to display my Windows 10 desktop. I type RDP and click on the remote desktop connection application. In the computer field, you need to type the server's IP address. You can see that it's already in. 
and this is because I have done the test before recording this video and the remote desktop application saved the IP address. So click connect. Here the remote desktop connection tries to connect me with the administrator account. So I need to change the user. And for that, I click on the remote choices hyperlink. Click use a different account. Enter the username, superman, and the password. OK. Click yes to ignore the warning. Yes, the superman session is now getting open. The superman user was able to open a remote session on the server without being added to the user list. This is because superman is an administrator. As we said, all administrators have explicit remote access to the server. Now let's do the test with Batman. Uh oh, the connection was denied because the user account is not authorized for remote login. It seems that Batman's super gadgets are not enough to grant him remote access to the server. <laughs> so to allow Batman to connect to the server remotely, we need to add it to the allowed users list. I type Batman, check the name to ensure that I didn't make the typo. Yes, Batman is now on the list and he should be able to connect on the server remotely. So let's do a test. This time Batman can open a remote session on the server. Welcome to the Justice League. Thank you for watching guys. See you in the next lesson.